Good morning to a mountain top 10 matchup last night in Whitesburg. Number eight, Letcher Central hosting number nine, June Buchanan, Terrell Carter and the Cougars six days since their last game. Steven Silvers and the Crusaders, of course, coming off that tough 14th region all a championship loss to Cordia. First quarter, Idris Akinyemi get it, plus the foul. Later, it's Hunter Hammond. Good take, JBS up by two, nine to seven, but then Terrell Carter, he starts heating up, steaming up. I mean, Terrell Carter, he was cooking. Letcher up 14 to nine at the end of the first quarter. Let's go second quarter, Carter. Skip pass to Jordan Gregory. He had 10 points. Prince well on a sick, he had a big night for JBS, 11 points, 15 rebounds, there's two of his points. Still a seven point game though. Carter, he's not done. Just give it to Terrell oh, Carter for 35 on the night for Terrell. Letcher Central beats and wins by 10. They'll host Buckhorn tonight. Girls action, number two, Southwestern at Knox Central. Lady Warriors on their first offense position, possession. That's where we start around the perimeter. Kennedy Harris. Ooh, that's a splash ball. Good way to start there. Uh, Elizabeth Latham now. She finds Reggie Cundiff. Uh, she fumbles the ball, but she picks it back up. She scores. Southwestern opened the game up on a 9-0 run. On the other side, a little inside-outside game. Cassie Hale. That was way out there, wasn't it? Uh, but the Warriors, Lady Warriors, just, just too much. Samantha Fitzgerald, she scored a game-high 21 versus Pulaski County. Friday night, she scored a team-high 14 in this one. Southwestern wins by double figure, 64-51. to 51. Lady Tiger basketball on WIMT. <laughs> All right, Barberville hosting Thomas Walker. Second half, Jordan Smith. I thought Jordan Smith was a singer. Bankage, different Jordan Smith. Later, Hannah Schwartz finds Brooklyn Smith inside on the post. Good for two there for Thomas Walker. Uh, spoiler alert, though, this game was all Barberville from the beginning and to the end. Kaylee Smith, that's a money ball from the wing. I mean, it was bombs away, really, in Barberville last night. Whitney Brown, what can Brown do for you? A money ball, long range. Lady Tigers win big, 59-38. Hey, don't forget about our Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week this week. It's tonight, not Central, travels to Johnson Central. This is boys' action, both programs with up and down seasons so far. Not Central at 7-9, Johnson Central at 10-7. Of course, Patriots have won four straight 14th region titles. The Golden Eagles, winners of four straight 15th region titles. You can watch this game tonight on this TV and WIMT.com. Tip time set for 7.30 p.m. The new Alice Lloyd College Mountain Top 10 rankings are out. Last week, number two knocked off number one on the girls' side. So you know what that means. Harlan County moves from number two to number one. First time this season, the Lady Black Bears are on top. Not Central, the former number one, drops to four. You see Southwestern and Shelby Valley are two and three, with Harlan, the 13th region all eight champs, back into the top five. On the boys' side, Perry Central remains the unanimous number one team in the mountains. South Rural at two, Southwestern at three. Lawrence County and Harlan County round out the top five. And then how about Corbett? The Red Hounds cracking the rankings for the first time this season. That means there are now five 13th region teams in the Mountain Top 10. But I should note, Corbin did lose to Knox Central last night. That's a final look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.